All right, we're about to jump into the NFL draft here. Once again, we do not have a first round pick. We are not picking till round two, the 22nd pick of round two. So the Raiders are now on the clock, and we're going to go ahead. And we're going to go ahead, and we're going to we're going to go ahead and jump to the the. We're going to go ahead and skip ahead. We'll see who the Raiders end up drafting. On the clock now. Those they Dallas picked up Miles Murphy from Clemson. The Dallas Cowboys are on the clock. We will see who the Cowboys decide to take. On the clock now. They the took Detroit Will Anderson Lions. from Alabama. Detroit Lions are on the clock now. We will see who they decide. Do do they do they stick to the mock draft? Do they take a quarterback here? What's you know, what's their what's their answer? So they've got us. They've got another first round pick. They took Bryce Young of Alabama. But they've got that other first round pick. So God no. Mm. Let's see what Chicago does. Chicago being on the clock, who knows? Who knows what they decide to do? The Houston Texans they are took uh, Jalen Carter from Georgia. The Texans will probably be the next team to maybe take a quarterback. We'll see. I don't know. And then Detroit's back on the clock again. It's the Detroit Lions now on the clock. Houston took C.J. Stroud, so top two quarterbacks went pretty much where everyone, well, where the last mock draft had them going. So it'll be interesting to see who they decide to pair with C.J. Stroud here as this next pick in the next draft time, for Detroit. The and they went and got the uh, Kelly Ringo from Georgia. Seattle was on the clock. So Seattle is now on the clock. We're going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the end of the first round. Next We're going to go ahead and skip the Dolphins skip. on the clock. Uh. Okay. I was trying. Uh, there we go. Skip to the, the next round. Now on the clock. Oh, the Colts took Tyler Tyler Van Van Dyke from Miami. At the end of the first round. <clears throat> Let's see here. Um today I guess we'll have to look and see so uh, let's see what the draft board looks like right now it's an interesting mess uh, I don't really see anybody that sticks out to me but uh, we'll see all right so uh, at this point, we're just gonna skip ahead. We're just gonna skip to our pick. It's the Dallas Cowboys now on the clock. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and skip to our pick. At Twenty-two. It's now the San Francisco Okay, so we got some trade offers. We're gonna look at them. And they're offering uh, so basic. So Cincinnati's offering to move up from twenty-two. From 56 to 22, Cleveland wants to move up from 45 to 22. Oh, nope, that's next year. So nothing they want to offer me for. No. Uh-uh. Ooh, wow. The Orleans is wanting to move up from way back. Yeah, nothing that sticks out. I'm going to... I'm, I'm gonna say 
I'm gonna decline all offers. We're gonna we're gonna look at our we're gonna look at our board. We're gonna see what we got. All right, so we've got Joaquin Jarrett of Maryland. We need to look at a tight end. One of tight end was one of our. I um, mean, we've only got two, but. Um, yeah, we got 12 wide receivers. We don't need no wide receivers. Uh, corners were, we got seven. And I don't think we've got anybody there. Let's see, let's take a look. So we got Cameron Moore from Washington State. He's still on the board. Spencer Rattler still on the board. Uh, Hendon Hooker, he's a day three. He's a day three. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at the tight end room real quick. Most of what's left is rounds three through four or day three picks. There's nobody. Yeah, there's nobody that sticks out. Um, yeah. Uh, Look at the tackles, shall we? No one that sticks out on the tackle. No. You got a center, Steve Levy from TCU, who had a projected of round one to two. Um, what have we got? Center wise, were. Okay. This thing is so mad. Oh, oh, never mind. Center. Maybe. That might be a decent pick to go after. Because uh, we got center, we got left guard, we got right guard and left tackle. So. Left guard's picked. Projected 2 3. Uh, right guard is 2 3. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the center. We're going to draft the center from TCU Steve Olivia. Yeah, I think so. The Indianapolis Colts are now on the clock. Yeah, we're going to take him. I think this will be the easiest thing to do. I'll take him and then we're going to move on to round three. Move on to our next pick in round three. Now on the clock, the San Francisco 49ers. Oh, look at what we have. Okay, so. Left guard, right guard. Let's see. Day threes. Uh, they're gone. Right guard. Round three, four. I, I think we'll be okay. I think, I think this kid will make for a decent pick. Yeah, I think I think this kid will make. I think this kid will make for a decent pick. All right, so we're back on a, we're back up for round four. We'll see. The Bengals ah. now on the clock. Get up to round four. We'll see. The San Francisco 49ers. And then Hooker got the drafted by Cleveland. A pick before we pick. A pick before we pick. Okay, so um, at this point, I don't know. At, at this point, we've addressed a couple of the line spots. I mean, there's nothing that... <clears throat> there's nothing that sticks out to me. You know what? We're just gonna... We're, we're, we're just gonna let the computer make the pick here. 
The Washington Commanders okay, are they now picked the corner the from run. Mississippi State. Matter of fact, we're just gonna like, we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna move to the end of the draft at this point. We'll look at the recap for the draft. We'll see what's going on, and then we'll go from there. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, so we got the draft recap. So our second round pick yeah, being a center, he's 59 overall. Oh, God, that was not a good pick. No, our next pick wasn't that bad. Dude, we got a right guard. He's a 68. Uh, they did draft a cornerback who was a 72. They got a tight end, Dalton Kincaid from Utah. A cornerback from Indiana. 65, and then picked up Rasheed Rice from SMU. It's a 68 overall wide receiver. Okay. So that, okay. So that's what we did from there. Um, we're gonna look at all. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at all the first round picks that were made. Real quick, uh, Miles Murphy got drafted. He's 80 overall. Will Anderson Jr., he is an 83 for Dallas, 83 for Bryce Young, 84 Jalen Carter, CJ Stroud was an 81. Uh, I did not notice he went to Seattle. He, uh, let's see, Will Levis went to Tennessee. Isaiah Foskey went to Tampa. Michael Mayer went to Atlanta. Uh, well, Tom Brady going to have a young tight end, another young tight end to break in, I guess. Wow. Jordan Addison went to the Patriots. Damn. Uh, Noah Sewell, the linebacker we were looking at, he went to the Ravens. Anthony Richardson went to Seattle. Let's see who else. Well, nobody else that jumps out. At least name value to me. I'm surprised. Tyler Van Dyke from my... I think they got him because of what, what their quarterback room looks like, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, let's see, who all got drafted? See any notable players in the second round? Nolan Smith from Georgia went to the Cowboys. Devin Aitchin from Texas A&M went to Miami. Damn. Uh, let's see. Nobody that sticks out exactly. Marvin Mims from Oklahoma went to Cleveland. We got Steve Olivia, Brenda Joseph, who free safety from Notre Dame. He went to not anybody. And that's not really Cameron Ward went to the Packers. That's going to be interesting. That is going to be interesting. Let's see, round three. Doesn't look like any. Looks like it's pretty much. Spencer Rattler went to. Oh, wow. Spencer Rattler went to Miami. That's, that's insane. You know what? You know what the hell with this? The hell. Oh, I was going to say the hell with this. I was going to look at the. I was going to look at the board, but never mind. Wow, I was going to try and look at positions, but never mind. Spencer Rattler. Let's see. Nobody else that sticks out. Phil Jerkovic, the former, a former, former Notre Dame quarterback, transfer to Boston College, got picked up by the Jaguars. 
Nobody that sticks out. Riley Moss. Tanner McKee, the quarterback from Stanford, went to New Orleans. Nobody else that stuck out. Round four. Let's see. Nobody. Eight. Ali Gie from LSU went to the Panthers. Uh, let's see. Nobody else. Anybody else? The quarterback from BYU, Jaren Hall, went to the Ravens. Wow. Uh, Hinden Hooker went to went to the Browns. That's that's an interesting pick, considering they have Deshaun Watson locked up in that locked up on that big ass deal. So that's an interesting pick. We'll see if he we'll see how far he makes it. Uh, Jake Hayner from Fresno State got picked up by Cincinnati. Blake Corum went to Green Bay. And then Isaiah Davis went to the Colts. Let's see. Uh, five. Let me see. Deuce Vaughn of Kansas State went to, went to Dallas. Auburn Tank Bigsby went to Cleveland. I mean, so necessarily, I don't see anybody else that, you know, Dalton Kincaid, the tight end from Utah, we got him. DJ, oh wow, DJ Ungavalea went, went to San Diego. That's gonna be an that's interesting. Round five, that's that yeah. That's interesting. Let's see. Any other people? Anybody else that sticks out? I don't I don't see any names that stick out. No, Julian Fleming of Ohio State. He went to San Los Angeles. Went to the Chargers. Malik Cumming, Cunningham, the quarterback from LS from Louisville, went to the Cardinals. That's an interesting pick. Yes, that is. Hudson Card, the quarterback from Texas, went to the Bears. Chris Tyree went to Miami. Let's see. Storm Duck. Uh, uh, interesting. Interesting name. Let's see here. Anybody else that sticks out? Um, nope. Nope. Nobody else that stuck out. Damn. All right. So we have done our. We have finished our off season. We have done what we needed to. Um. You know what? We'll take a look. You know what? Uh. I want to see what kind of free agents there are. All right, there. Well, okay, we can't. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait till the preseason. All right, we'll I'll take a quick peek at our roster, make sure everything is set. All right, we're good. And he's basically going to be our starter this year. That's. Oh, yeah, that's. Yep. Wow. Elijah Mitchell. Is that. The... No, it's wide receiver. This is going to be an interesting one because we have. 
we have Christian McCaffrey on that big contract. It's still, you know, we still have him. We have him on that big contract that starts this year. 12-12 and 12.2. Uh, you know, with him and then with having Elijah Moore, Mitchell, who's, you know, who's player tagged as a day one starter. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what that, I don't know what we're going to do with that. Uh, Should have. Yeah, we should have kept him. I thought he was a wide. I thought he was a running back. I didn't know he was a wide receiver. All right, we're gonna look at resigning him. Danny Gray. Future starter. The tag for that is. Ah, he'll get increased bonus XP during weekly training. And he will be placed above. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we got George Kittle, Charlie Warner, and then Dalton Kincaid. Still got Eric Fisher on there, but maybe somebody comes along and makes us an offer we can't refuse. I don't know. Drake Jackson is a future starter for left end. And a bridge player. Dante Fowler, bridge player. Uh, let's see. I think we're good for the most part. Yep. Yep, we're good. Yeah, I don't see anything that sticks out. Nah. Alrighty. So that's going to be the end of that. Alright. We're going to go ahead and advance on to preseason for week number for year two. And our preseason calendar is the, is the Bengals, the Titans, and the Patriots. We will start the year in Atlanta against Tom Brady. you got to be kidding me. Wow. Yep. So, all right. So, we're going to start next year. We got our three preseason games, and then we start the year against Tom Brady. So, um, um, yeah, it's gonna, it looks like it's going to be an interesting year with, uh, um, uh, with, uh, what's his name? I, I'm blanking right now. Uh, Trey Lance as our starter. So, we're, we're really going to see if, uh, we're going to really see if this is really going to be it for us or if maybe, I don't know, maybe something need, something's going to need to change. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, probably next video up, you know, be preseason recap, everything that happened in preseason, and then we'll go from there, and then we'll get ready to start the season against uh, – against Atlanta. Until then, we'll see y'all later with the next video, guys.